Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from GardenEquipmentReview.com. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today we're looking at the uh, feeder self-propelled powered sweeper. Now there are two models available. There's uh, they're literally the same, but one is electric start and one is recoil start. Now the price of the machine at the time of writing is £599 including VAT. Um, it's currently got a, has a £200 discount. Uh, if you want the electric uh, start model, that, that adds another £200. Once again, these prices are, can change. So it's quite a bit more for the electric start model. Um, to be fair, modern petrol engines are, are very easy to start in this day and age. Personally, I wouldn't worry about having an electric start model on an engine of this size, but that's, that's kind of personal. But... Uh, just my humble opinion. So let's take a look at this um, this uh, sweeper. Um, it's we'll just look at the features. So it's a high performance sweeper for all, all year use. It's powered by a 6.5 overhead valve petrol engine, which does have a cast iron liner and an oil cutoff switch, which is always kind of gives peace of mind if you suddenly think well, I haven't checked the oil for a few days um, you do get a warning light however I would suggest you do check your oil on a regular basis as things do happen sometimes also it's important to keep your air field, filter clean to make sure that no dirt gets it into the engine depending um, if you're working dusty conditions if, then obviously the air filter needs checking much more regularly um, it's an 80 centimetre working width, this brush, so and that can, as you, this picture shows, it's angled at 15 degrees, so and that can be to the left or right, so you can, um, it will push sort of the rubbish out to, to one side. Uh, there is a, actually a bucket that you can purchase to, I may, some, I may actually add some pictures later, to collect everything you sweep. Um, so it'll just come out in a row and you can make a, a large row of it and then pick it up in this large bucket that attaches to the front. But we'll talk about that in a second. Um, it's got agricultural pneumatic tars, um, a seven speed gearbox, five forward and two reverse. So it makes it quite manoeuvrable depending and depending what conditions um, you're working. And if you've got stubborn dirt and need to sweep it more, then you just go slower. Um, strong steel chassis, a range of uh, quick fit attachments, which include, um, which I put down here, as I, as I just just mentioned, you've obviously got the, the rotary brush that comes with it, the collection box, which is a little bucket, which I just mentioned, uh, the snow blower attachment, and a dozer blade attachment. So it does make the machine more universal. There's also a optional five-year warranty. But to me, warranty is a uh, always good you never know what problems you're going to have with a machine and i personally i really like the idea of no no expenses for five years i think there are a few terms and conditions which may be having to have the machine serviced by a dealer every year but that's kind of no big deal if you've got two two years five or eight years warranty rather so if you've got any comments on this please feel free to comment in the box below or i'm going to embed this you do this video uh, i could put it up on youtube in a moment and I will place it somewhere in here. Thanks very much for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend.